Good morning, Ruth Green Hornets. It's Mrs. Ambrose, and today is Friday, February 17th. The Pledge of Allegiance will be led in a separate video. Now it's time for the Building Healthy Communities announcement. Did you know that some vegetables like carrots and potatoes grow under the ground? These are called root vegetable, vegetables because they are at the root of the plant. I, now it is time for our uh, Black History Month person of the day. Today's Black History featured person is Paul Robeson. <clears throat> Paul Robeson was born in 1898 and died in 1976. Mr. Robeson was a singer, artist, stage and film actor, and a political activist. He attended Rutgers University and Columbia University. He was a star athlete. He studied Swahili and phonetics at the School of Oriental, uh, of Oriental and African Studies in London. He also earned his law degree and was a lawyer for a brief time. Mr. Robeson won academic scholarship to Rutgers and was twice named an All-American in football. He also was at the top of his class. That is called a valedictorian. He was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. After college, he was recruited to play for the NFL Akron Pros while he was studying law. Beyond being a very smart and athletic person, he was a talented singer who recorded over 276 songs. He was considered a star in music and acting. Although later in life, due to his beliefs, he would be banned from performing some of his music at certain locations. Paul Robeson was also active in the civil rights movement and other social justice causes. He was a big believer of unions and fought for union causes the rest of his life. He was the first black artist to refuse to perform for segregated audiences. He was part of the Harlem Renaissance. Mr. Robeson earned a lot of awards for his activism and his talent throughout his life. There are memorials and buildings named after him all over the world. In 2004, the U.S. Post Office issued a 37 cent stamp honoring Mr. Robeson. A famous quote from Paul Robeson is, we must re realize that our future lies chiefly in our own hands. What do you want to do when you grow up? Making that happen is in our own hands. What can you do to help make your goals real? And now it's time for our shout outs. I've got a lot of shout outs. Let's start at the beginning from Miss Lissinger. Congratulations to Makari Lewis for getting the class high score, not only in iReady math, but also iReady reading. Fantastic job, Makari. Congrats to Landon Bryan for getting the class highest iReady reading growth. You did amazing. Also, congratulations to Tylen Moore for having the class highest iReady math growth. Your hard work paid off. Kevin Brown, thank you for being a wonderful friend to everyone in Team 101. Your kindness doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you to Mohammed, Isaiah, Jennifer, Amir for helping supply our class with Kleenex. Our friends appreciate you. Amaya Wesley, thank you for always smiling and for being a, at school on time. Imani Thompson, I'm so proud of you and how hard you have been working in math. The smile you get when you get it right is contagious. Keep believing in yourself. Sophia Peters, thank you for always thinking of others and helping out your friends when it is needed. Jennifer Patterson, you are the kindest friend one could have. You are always ready for the day to start. Faith Mateko, you have shown so much growth these last couple months. We love having you participate, and we also thank you for always making sure our playground equipment is picked up. <clears throat> Lucas Love, thank you for all the kindness. No matter what is going on, you are always there to help others or to encourage them. We appreciate you. Team 101, fantastic job on getting two class tickets during lunch this week. Uh, uh, all of your hard work does not go unnoticed. Keep being quiet, respectful, and responsible in the lunchroom and throughout Green Elementary. Team 101, you did an amazing job on your secret mission. I cannot wait to see what the next mission is. From Ms. Smith, Brooklyn and Jathan for helping a student pick up all his belongings that fell out of his crayon box. All fifth grade for doing a nice job uh, uh, during their becoming a published author ceremony Wednesday. Way to go, fifth graders. And a big shout out to Mrs. Nemitz's class and mine for working well together during our buddy's Valentine's Day experiment. It brought Mrs. Nemitz and I so much joy watching the classes work together and the expressions as the experiment exploded. Also from Ms. Smith, uh, we have Malachi Allen, 
Alea Hines and Mia Lawson for being respectful and giving me their full attention while I am teaching. From Ms. Gamerick, Randy Jackson for always being quietly responsible and completing your work when you miss school. Janila Hill for being kind and trying to help others to do their best. Karen Hamill for being kind and respectful. From Ms. Sharp, Donald Herring for putting much more effort into his work. He has been much more positive and participating so much more. Damian Blackwell for being much more mindful about raising his hand when he has something to share so he does not interrupt me in the middle of teaching. And Grayson Garrison, thank you for always being so dependable when help is needed. You always complete the task with a smile and a thumbs up. From Mrs. Micken, shout outs to all the students in my room and the entire school who didn't get one discipline referral for the first semester of school. Way to go and keep it up. From Mrs. Casolino, Braden, Audrina, Delasia, um, and Dakari for being kind and thoughtful, especially when Ms. Casolino is absent. From Mrs. Chapman and Ms. Miglio, Adriana Young for extra help, uh, extra effort to help class solve a puzzle. Zoe Thurman and Jada Watts Pheasant for always being kind and respectful. Alonzo Salter for excellent Alonzo Salter for excellent work and participation. From Mrs. Taylor, the entire class for always being so kind and caring with each other. Many students have stepped up to be leaders, and I'm proud of uh, of them for that. They are Messiah, Renaya, uh, Haley, Quinton, Joslyn, Cadence, Kira, and Avery. Lastly, a huge shout out to Adam for really stepping up the behavior and working hard so that he can share facts about geography with the students. From Mrs. Tominski, I would like to shout out my breakfast of champion winners, Tamaya Reed, Kamora Shaw, and Dee Amore. Lately, I am so proud of your growth. I would also would like to shout out Ke uh, Kendall Coleman and Kalea Latham, Kaylee Latham for mastering their timetables. Your hard work and per perseverance has paid off. My last shout out goes to Michael McSwain for sticking up for others and believing that everyone deserves a fair chance. You're a great friend and classmate. From Mrs. Sanoa, shout outs uh, Davon Johnson from Mrs. Casalino's class for participating. I was so impressed when you read out loud. Um, Mrs. Tominci's entire class for being so kind while I was visiting their class. Thank you for showing me your ghostwriting. From Ms. Castiglione, Mario Allen for always having a positive attitude and trying his best, Peyton Maurer for an awesome, being an awesome helper, and Andre Romero and Walter Bryant for being a great friend. From Mr. Kowicki, I would like to shout out Kat. Kat has done such a great job with her math and reading skills. Keep up the good work. And I had a uh, announcement come in, or a shout out come in kind of late today, and this is from Ms. Obeny. Shout outs to Mackenzie Hampton, Brittany Garrett, Emma Menino, Kendall McIntosh, Sundas Navid, Emma Carroll, Jakari Carter Gibbs, Landon Vilniff, Heaven Brown, Jackson Russell, Landon Lee, and Martez Vincent for meeting classroom and school wide expectations all week. They made good choices in class in the hallway and in the lunchroom and at recess. Great job. Wow, that's a lot of shout outs. You guys have been working hard. Keep up the good work. I also want to remind you that today is a half day. If you are not sure that your family knows it's a half day, please tell your teacher and make a phone call so they are aware that we don't have school after 11.55 today. Also, congratulations to all the students who did, were showing um, good judgment and followed all the expectations here at Green the first quarter and second quarter and didn't get any discipline referrals. I'm so proud of you. Today, you will get to see a movie, and we have a special Valentine's treat from Texas Roadhouse for you guys. I hope you guys have a great Friday and a restful winter break, and repeat after me. Ruth Green Hornets are respectful, responsible, and ready. I fly right with Hero. Happy Friday, and have a good midwinter break.